What up, what up, it's Dana. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how to increase your dumbbell shoulder press and how to just push up big weight. <laughs> push up. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's get straight into this video, man. And I think I have the credential and experience to say this, man, because I don't know, I can, my shoulders are my strongest point and I can push some heavy weight on my shoulders, right? I can do about, uh, I was, I was trying to cover kgs to pounds, right? Like, give me a chance. I could do 84 kg shoulder press. From about four to five reps, right? Um, dumbbell shoulder press, this is. And um, seated, of course, not standing. So, 84 kg dumbbell seated shoulder press, which is, I think, like 92 pounds. So, I'll probably title this video how to get to 100, uh, 100 pound dumbbell shoulder press because 92 pounds just sounds too odd. Um, so, yeah, if you've clicked on a video, cool, man, because <laughs> I click for you. So anyway, yeah, but basically it is true because I'm gonna to get to a hundred pound dumbbell shoulder press, right? I'm only 18, I've got a lot, a lot of time to get there. So yeah, how to get there, I'm gonna tell you right now. And as always, you know me already, if or if you don't, if you want big, good shoulders, increase your strength on your compound movements. So standing military press, dumbbell shoulder press. Those two movements will get you big shoulders. Then just to top it off, the icing on the cake, just to do some isolation work, I do rest, force training, lateral raises, or some rear delt work. So yeah, that's basically how I built my shoulders and how I think the best way to build your shoulders are. And this worked for me, and I'm sure it worked for the majority of you. So anyway, you wanna know the answer, you don't wanna just hear me talking shit, so. How to build a, how to increase the 100 pound dumbbell shoulder, um, yeah, dumbbell shoulder press, yeah. Basically what you need to do is, and what I do is reverse pyramid training. I got this from a Kino body, Gregor Gallagher. And this, this guy, he kind of knows what he's talking about, man. He, he talks some good shit. So I got this from him. And yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a good guy. But besides him, this is, we get back to the video. Reverse pyramid training. If you don't know what it is already, it's basically starting with the heaviest weight. And then you go down and down. I think this is personally one of the best ways, especially if you like becoming more advanced. I'm not saying I'm advanced at all. But if you start hanging a plateau, reverse pyramid training is the way out. Because you start with a real heavy weight, right? So you increase your strength, like four to five reps, no, five to six reps, try and get there. And then the other set, the next set, you drop the weight and you try to get about seven to eight reps. And then the next time you drop it, like nine to 10 or eight to 10 again. So that way you still increase your strength, but you still get a higher amount of volume in. So some hypertrophy work, right? So the best of both worlds. So that's basically how I, I'm building up to the 100 pound dumbbell shoulder press. I'm already at 92 pounds, so not much, not much to go. Um, and that's, I just believe, if you're on big shoulders, man, hit, get strong on those compounds, do rest post isolation training, and it should be all good. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is really straightforward, man. Reverse pyramid training to get a big dumbbell shoulder press. And there's not just one way of doing it, right? There is a lot of other ways, but main, Main main principle: try and increase weight over time. That's it, and that's obviously very very simple. But some people they just do dumbbell shoulder press for say five reps, five reps, five reps. The next time they go, they do five reps, five reps, five reps for the same weight. So you can use reverse pyramid training just to increase your strength each time you go into the gym, right? And I never understood pyramid training, right? Pyramid training says what it says. Like you start off with um, the lighter weight, then near your end set you do the heaviest weight. I never really understood that and it just doesn't seem to work for me because by that time I'm at the end I'm fatigued anyway so oh well, so <laughs> maybe I use that as a warm up since the beginning ones then so anyway as always I hope you found a really useful performance of open it's going to work for you to get a big dumbbell shoulder press or standing military press overhead press I use the same principles there so anyway as always stay positive stay smiling and I'll see you in the next one